Hello, good afternoon. I am Lutra FM bringing you another mystery shirt video. In today's video, we are doing reviews for surprise shirts and um, Enigma football, um, also known as mystery mystery football shirts for you. Um, I didn't realize this until today that they are the same company. So if you've had a bad experience with mystery football shirt for you um, or Enigma, then just realize they're the same company. I haven't had a bad experience with either, so um, just saying, well, Enigma gave me a rubbish shirt to start with, but they corrected it, so um, credit, whereas credit is due to them. So yeah, so let's get started. We've got, this one's the first one, we've got here from Surprise Shirts. Um, I usually get pretty cool shirts. They're, they're pretty good at understanding what I like and don't like. Um, so hopefully, oh, card is there so we're just going to pop that on way oh no it's not the card oh, no, there's something else in the box hey it's some Aribo. the uh the missus will be happy with them right so let's move them out of the way who is in the packaging oh i like there's like a looks like some apples in the uh, on the shirt i think oh this looks really cool this looks really cool very very nifty um Groovy, as they say. Showing me age now, aren't I? But yeah, that's the thing on the back. So it's called, uh, the team's called Kadoxan Imps AFC. I'm, I'm assuming it's, uh, this shirt is made by a manufacturer whose shirts tend to fit slightly differently to those from other manufacturers. For this reason, we have provided you with a shirt in a different size to the one that you ordered the intention that it would fit as a normal would. Okay, so that's quite concerning. We'll, we'll trust their judgment. So this shirt is a 5XL. <laughs> I'm in 4XL, so it, it should definitely fit me. Um, yeah, I, think, I, I definitely think that's going to fit me. But look at that, it's a really cool shirt. Let me stand up and show you properly. Look at the pattern on there. I thought they were apples, but they're trees. So, Finn's Foundation. So uh, yeah, and then on the back, look at that. I love weird and wonderful shirts, and this one is definitely weird and wonderful. I don't care if it only costs like 20 quid on eBay. Um, I just like the fact that this is, like I said, I really like the pattern. Who's the shirt designer? I don't know. Arrow, Arrow Sportswear, God knows, very unknown. So. Um, I'll come back in a second and we'll see what this looks like on me and I'll also tell you a bit more about the team with the shirt. Right, I'm back. Um, this is the shirt on me. It fits me quite well. Um, i just stand up. So these are for Kadoxan or something like that. I think it's Kadoxan. Let me just get it on here. Kadoxan Imps. Yeah, so Kadoxan Imps. There you go, very nice shirt. This is, um, they are a team in Wales based in the Barry area. So I'm assuming they're a Welsh and only team. Um, the shirt on the website says it's the away shirt from the season just gone. And it costs about £36. So I think I've done really well with this one. Um, I feel like, I mean, obviously they must have got these shirts quite cheap. And that's why. But I don't, I don't mind them. They've got to make money at the end of the day. So as long as it's, say, like my cut off point is if i can get it for 20 quid i'm not happy if it's 25 quid then i accept it for what it is anything else is a bonus so the fact that this costs this could have cost me 36 pounds and the mystery box i think cost me a little less than that i think it might have been 30 pounds i could be wrong it might be less actually so i feel like i've done really well it's a really cool shirt i can wear this shirt nobody will have a bloody clue what this shirt's about um and it it, it feels like a nice summery top i can wear uh, it goes quite nicely with my mask as well for some reason. So yeah, so I'm really happy with this purchase. Um, there isn't much about Kadoxan Imps. There's no wiki page or anything like that, so I can't really tell you much about them other than the fact they're a Welsh and me team based in in the Barry area. So I might manage them on Football Manager. That might be my Football Manager 2025. Sorry, Football Manager 25 save once you can get a welsh lower league file 
because they won't they won't just appear very quickly i have to wait a bit so eventually i'll manage this team and i can wear this shirt while i'm managing them so i'm quite happy with that um right then so that's that one in a second we'll be open up the enigma shirt right we're back um here is the enigma shirt it's quite it feels like it's going to pop out the box so i don't know if that's is that a good thing or bad thing one of the things i've ordered is a sweatshirt sorry I, from a website but i can't remember which one i don't think it's this one no it's not oh i'm actually i've, I've accidentally looked at the card and the shirt but i'm quite i'm really happy i think with this yeah i am look at that nancy shirt or is it pronounced nonce? I don't know. That sounds a bit dodgy when you say that, innit? Um, I think I'm going to call them Nancy's, but look at that. That's a beautiful shirt, that is. Um, yeah. Enigma's gone above and beyond, here. Four XL as well, which is good. Match day. So this is a Nancy's match day a four, uh, offic official, well, I don't know, authentic home. So then that makes any difference. Match day, then that means a player's version. I don't know. Um, crack this open. Like so, rubbish over there. Oh, we've got some more rubbish. Bear with us. Oh. I have to pick up the rubbish because my seventh month old puppy thinks everything on the floor is his toy and it'll just make a mess. But yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful shirt. All right, let's move it to stand up. I'm, oh, I'm going to enjoy wearing this. I do like the yellow shirt. I like the yellow and green one even more. It reminds me of the 93 94 Man United shirt. Um, does it say on this in the tag? It doesn't say what season. I'm not. Oh, it says it. Says it I think it's uh, 2020. I'm looking at that there. Which I don't care about. Um, I ain't looking at the bottom, I don't think. Yeah. Looks like a nice shirt. Hopefully, it'll fit me. We'll soon find out in a second. Look at that, fits me beautifully. Look at that. I say that it's a little bit tight, but most wool shirts are. But I feel comfortable in this, so that's all that matters. I've not got the body of a dog, so I'm not expecting these shirts to fit. I think this might be a player issue one, um, or a player version as they call it. But yeah, I'm, like, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I know we're coming towards the end of the summer, but this is a proper like shirt that you wear in the summer. Um, I just love the I love I just like the green faded green coming up here. Now when I looked online, um, oops, that down. when I looked online, classic football shirts, which is the website I usually look on to see how much they're selling it for, um, they don't have it in stock. So I had a little further look, and I looked on eBay, and there's one in America going for like uh seventy eighty dollars, and then I looked on another website. And it's going for 60 quid this shirt this is the 2020 2021 season shirt so considering i only spent about like 30 pounds i feel like i've got more than my money's worth um i don't know whether they're making up for i mean they made up already made up um for giving me a rubber shirt by giving me that Cal caligari shirt so um but maybe they're trying to make good i don't know um i haven't told them that, that i do these type of videos so there's no reason for them to send me a nice shirt other than the fact that they're just trying to keep me happy i suppose so full credit to uh enigma football shirts also known as mystery football shirt for you and also you know fair play to surprise shirts i like the, obs the obscurity of the shirts they give me um, they literally just give me random shirts from all over the world and I love that so um, happy days I'm happy um, with both my shirts now I have got in the next part of this video I have got um, a sweatshirt coming and another football shirt coming so hopefully I'll get them soon and this will be like a video where there's three mystery shirts and one sweatshirt we'll just see how long they take to get here but I know that one's coming in two days time this is it's as i'm doing this bit it's monday so wednesday um that will come so hopefully that'll be good as well we'll see uh, i'm doing it literally bit by bit at a time so you'll see my reaction live as i'm opening them i don't i don't pre-open anything other than maybe taking off the initial postage bag but that's about it or sometimes i'll uh, open the box 
um, because I, I don't want to be spending ages on, on here trying to open a box looking like an idiot. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the next part of the video. Right, I'm back for the next part. I've had a wardrobe change since then. I'm wearing a fake Portugal away shirt that they wore at the Euros. Um, it come uh, a couple of weeks later than I was expecting, but finally got it. It's a fake one, um, but it, it doesn't fit me that well. A bit tight on me, but it, it, it's all right. I can wear it inside the house. I probably wouldn't wear it out and about, though, because it's too tight. It's a nice shirt. I like it. I can wear it when I'm doing my videos. Um, full disclaimer though, I said at the start of the video that Enigma and Mystery Football Shirts for You were the same company, which I thought because basically I, I didn't realise I actually ordered one from Enigma as well, I completely forgot. So they're not the same company, they're two separate companies, so I can only apologise for that. Um, so that shirt that you saw at the start of this video, that is actually from Enigma and um, I'm assuming I've got one coming up today and waiting for the every driver to turn up in a minute. Um, with one from Mystery Football Shirts for you, I think, maybe, or um, we'll, we'll soon find out anyway. But yeah, so this one I think is from Misty Jersey or something like that, I can't remember. Hopefully it will tell me, but it's a sweatshirt or a coat or something. It feels like a, uh, a coat. I swear I ordered a hoodie sweatshirt, but anyway. Right, so this is it here. Um, it's an Adidas one. It's an Ajax coat. Oh, very nice. An Ajax raincoat. That's really nice. And as we're hitting, as we're coming up towards more, like, less sunny weather, this will be very nice. It's quite lightweight as well. So, um, yeah. I quite like this. I hope it fits me. What size is it? It, it? definitely, I hope it's the size that I've ordered. 3XL. So, and it is a legit one. It's called a storm jacket. So, um, I think this cost me like 30 odd quid, which is not too bad. 30 quid for a nice raincoat. But yeah, it fits me quite nicely. Let's just do it be on the safe side. Um, I haven't got actually uh, a raincoat because I usually just wear hoodies and stuff. So, this would be quite nice to wear. Bobby Dan's Bobby Dan's got the uh, I'm, I'm starting to like Adidas stuff more and more these days. I think I just prefer Adidas, but yeah, nice badges there. I don't think there's anything on the back, no, but yeah, I'm quite happy with this. I uh, I might look to order some more from from them because I could do with some more coats and jackets to uh, wear, especially as the weather gets a little bit more. We don't get much cold weather here, we usually get wet weather in England, but um. Yeah, I'm quite sure for this. I think I said I think it only cost like 30 quid, 35 quid. It fits me nicely. Um, maybe I should have gone with a 2XL. It, I mean, I'm not complaining. It, it's better to be baggy than tight on me. But yeah, because I've lost a bit of weight. Um, but yeah, very nice. Right then, hope you like the, the coat. And I'll be back in a sec with the next shirt. Right, so um, the last shirt the video is from um, mysterykits.co.uk. I have, I can't remember, I think I got a Bay Mini home shirt last time I was from them. So hopefully another good shirt from them. Um, I've seen the colour of the shirt, I'm just making sure. Oh, I'm going to put that away because that's how much the shirt was. Right, so here is, oh, okay, this is quite nice. Veya Oliver Kuzentar, very bright. Let me just start to see it properly. There you go. I don't know which shirt it is. I assume it's an away shirt, it won't be a home shirt, but yeah, not too bad at all. Um, that story though, which worries me, that story don't usually fit me very well. But yeah, I like the I like the colour. Um, you'll definitely see me on a dark night with this one. Um, yeah, I've, I've always wanted a Bayer Labour Goose so that's good. So, let's see what it looks like on me, let's see if it fits properly. Right, so this is what it looks like on me. Um, I'm going to put another Bayer on my head. Right, um, yeah, it looks nice, it fits nice, it fits nice, it's a bit short in length. But yeah, it's alright. Now, I have a look on classic football shirts. 
and this is the goalkeeping top from not last season, season before, 22 23 season. Uh, apparently, it's 35 quid, so which is basically, I think, what it takes for the because you've got, got broken even. So, this has been, I've been, I wouldn't say I'm in profit because just because the, the one, um, what was it, the second shirt in this video, what was that now? The, the, Nan the Nantes FC French shirt, um, just because. Oh, I just realised that's sticking out. Sorry. Um, yeah, just because it's like going on eBay for sixty quid or something doesn't mean that if you sold it, you would get sixty quid for that shirt. But at the end of the day, I haven't lost any money in any of these deals. The coat was, um, I think every every single mystery box I bought was like thirty thirty five quid each, and I've broke even or been in profit, I suppose. Um, and I've loved every single one. I love the the Nancy shirt, the 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 Welsh, the the Dobson, or whatever they're called shirt. I really like that one. The Ajax coat, I really liked, and this as well. And like I said, I'm doing it for a bit of fun. I'm doing it to get loads of different, various football shirts to add to my weird and wonderful collection. Um, I'm probably going to get another one or two of the um, coats boxes. I definitely would recommend them. I can't. Who is it? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely give these lot these lot a go. The there was surprise shirts. That was the Welsh and me shirt. They really are really good with obscure football teams. Um, I think, and then the um uh, this one was mystery mystery kits. Co. Uk. This baby and Labour Cruise and one. The coat. I can't remember which company. I'm sorry for the company that that gave me the coat. Um. I can't remember which one that is. Actually, bear with us. This will take a while. I do apologise. Um, I just need to go into my emails. And then, again, um, draw them out. So, Mystique jerseys. So, the code come from Mystique jerseys. Uh, and then, what one am I missing? So, surprise shirts. We've done that one. This one was mystery kits. Mystique jerseys. And then, uh, I can't remember what the other one was now. Surprise shirts. Oh, Enigma. Enigma. Enigma was the Nantes shirt. So give them companies a try if you want to try out some mystery shirts. I'm not saying you're going to get like brilliant ones I've got. I haven't, I've purposely not, I mean, I haven't really got a massive YouTube channel. I've got like about a thousand subscribers. I'd say 60 of you are real people. The rest are just bots. So, um, yeah, so like I haven't told them I've got a YouTube channel or anything like that, so I'm not getting any special treatment. Um, so yeah, just give them a go at the end of the day. I feel like I've got real great value for money. I'm really happy. So yeah, anyway, I'm rambling on for way too long now. I'll leave you to it. Thank you for watching. Give me a like at, um, of the video if you did like it. It helps me push out. It helps YouTube pushing out the videos for other people. Enjoy the rest of your day. All the best.